Are you tired of living with this nagging daily neck pain? It's such an annoyance, especially if you're waking up in the morning with it, or you've been sitting in a car for a while driving and you feel your shoulders come up toward your ears and you're getting headaches at times, even migraines, and it's very annoying. Can't find the right types of exercises that are actually gonna give you relief long-term. Well, welcome to the world of Pilates where we create movement of the spine and also stability through your core muscles and your entire back. And so therefore your neck can sit, your neck and head can sit in a better position and can take a lot of stress off the muscles, especially at the base of your skull and down to the top of the shoulders. And many times if people are seeing a chiropractor or a physical therapist or massage therapist, they're doing things to temporarily take away the symptoms, but for long lasting relief, you have to find a, an exercise program that is going to work for you and work on the surrounding areas. Because I find as a physical therapist, there are so many exercises that you can do strictly for the neck that don't actually help take away the pain. The problem could be from the shoulders and your posture and other things that you can correct lower down on the spine and therefore your neck pain won't keep coming back. So we're going to go through that today. Keep watching this video. I'm going to give you a Pilates based exercise routine and explain how Pilates can help you and also why it can be more beneficial for your neck pain. So in Pilates exercise, we focus a lot on the elongation of the spine and creating space between the joints by doing specific exercises. It also encourages flexibility, strength around those postural muscles and encourages movement through the whole spine, not just in one specific area. You may have a lot of positioning problem in your neck, whether you're sitting in the car, sitting at a computer, and you find that this is what happens over time. Our chin kind of juts out. We get a lot of stress and tension in the area right at the base of your skull here. And you, the curvature in your spine can be affecting that too. So if we work on strengthening and stabilizing this part of your spine, a Pilates-based exercise is going to focus on breathing, posture, alignment, and it's going to take stress off of this area by getting everything here more flexible and stronger. So with anyone with chronic neck issues or even if it's an acute problem and you're getting numbness, tingling, pain down the arms or severe migraines, you definitely wanna check in with your health practitioner and check in with your doctor to get cleared for any exercise. But through this today, I'm gonna to show you a series of exercises that have been really beneficial for my clients if they're sticking to a routine and to help take some tension off your neck. Posture is one of the many causes of neck pain. So we are going to address this today. And if you find that any of these exercises are creating more pain or irritation, you definitely don't want to do them. Listen to your body and progress as you are comfortable to do so. So for a little warm up, what we're gonna do first is just take our head in some mild little range of motion positions. And we're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, just nodding your head. And you can do this and repeat this about five times just to get some movement and length in the back of your neck there. So tuck your chin down toward your chest and just gentle head nods there. Then after that, our next warm up is just rolling the shoulders back. So you wanna think of scrunching your shoulders up and then allowing them to drop and creating space there between your shoulders and your neck. You want to keep that neck nice and long, almost like someone is pulling you up from the top of your head, creating more space between the joints in the neck and the upper back. So do 10 there. Okay, the first Pilates based exercise is just keeping a nice gentle posture with your shoulders dropping and we're gonna gently tilt our head to one side and we're creating a lot of space between that ear and the shoulder. So you're gonna imagine that you're pressing your hands back behind you, squeezing the shoulder blades back and just gently moving the head side to side. 
So when you're pressing your arms back behind you, you can sit in a chair. You can do this in standing, but anything that's going to engage those muscles from your shoulder blades and think of pressing down and back with the shoulder blades as you move your head gently from side to side. Okay, 10 times each side or whatever is comfortable to you that is just gonna get these muscles elongated and kind of remind your brain where your posture needs to be. For the next exercise, this is called a book opener. You can do this on your side and you want to encourage the movement in the rib cage and the rotation here. When I showed you the spine model, I was showing you that in the upper part of your back, it's called your thoracic spine. Many times that can be really stiff and rigid, doesn't have a lot of movement and rotation. So therefore your neck gets all the force to it and a lot of extra stress. So we want to encourage that thoracic rotation and extension and movement. And in this exercise, a book opener, you're going to open and close your hands like opening the pages of a book and you'll be on your side with a pillow between your knees and your knees are bent and your head can rest on a pillow if you choose to do so. Your top arm is going to lift up and it's going to rotate back behind you. Now, you don't wanna stretch just in the shoulder. We want to rotate through the rib cage and really get that movement in our upper back. You wanna squeeze the pillow at the same time that you twist so it locks out your lower back and then we gently go back and forth with some breathing. So take this slow. You definitely can do it slower than I just showed. You can do 10 times on each side, keeping those knees bent, squeezing the pillow and rotating through that upper back. A normal range of motion, normal position, if you can get the opposite shoulder blade back to the floor or wherever you're laying, without just stretching your shoulder. You wanna keep your hand in line with your shoulder. So if you can rotate like that and your other shoulder blade hits the floor, then you've got good rotation. Most people with neck pain have trouble doing this. So you can work up to it and flexibility, you can make a lot of progress actually pretty quickly if you're working on this consistently. Okay, the third exercise, and I love this, and I've shown this in other videos, is the cat-cow stretch, the classic yoga type pose, as well as in Pilates. We are getting movement in our whole spine. So you're curling and arching up, arching like an angry cat, and then going the opposite way and dropping your navel toward the floor. And this encourages that movement and arching in your upper back. And you're separating those joints from there. The, this is going to encourage the rib cage and the thoracic spine to move again. And also you're not using your neck, you're allowing it just to move along with your spine. So repeat that 10 times as well. All right, the next exercise is thread the needle. Thread the needle, you are in that hands and knees position like you just did. You're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna bring it through the arm and leg. So you're rotating your upper back again. If you can get your head or your ear resting all the way down to the floor, then great. Hold it there for a few breaths and then repeat it on the other side. And if this bothers your knees when you're doing it, make sure you put some padding under your knees or you can also do this in a sitting position. Staying up nice and tall, you're just rotating your spine and if you're doing it on a chair, you can reach behind that chair and just kind of give yourself a little over pressure. But you want to keep the length in the spine as you rotate. That's going to get movement in this upper part of your back and again, takes tension off the neck. All right, the last exercise that I'm going to show in this Pilates series for relieving neck tension is going to require a foam roller. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend considering to get one because you can do some other great postural exercises using a foam roller. So you're gonna be on your stomach and you want your arms out like a V overhead. I have the palm of my hand um, rotated toward each other. So the, the pinky side of my hand is on the foam roller and my arms are out straight. 
I'm gonna imagine that I'm pulling my navel in toward my spine. I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades down my back and I'm rolling that foam roller toward me and lifting my chest just slightly. And then roll back down and then squeeze those shoulder blades down and roll that foam roller towards you. You may feel like you hardly get any movement there. That is normal if your back is very stiff. And so you wanna keep working on this until you can get a little more extension in your upper back. You also don't wanna move just your head because that is working the wrong muscles. You wanna actually think of lifting your sternum, lifting your chest and your head goes along with it. That encourages that thoracic extension that we tend to get really stiff and tight and don't have as much movement when we are spending time sitting at a computer or sitting in the car. So working on that reverses it and works on the opposite muscles. Okay, let's just review what we went over and the little Pilates based exercise that you can go through this routine daily and do it consistently, even twice a day if you want to. Consistency over time is gonna make great changes. So the first one was the neck uh, side to side stretch. The next one was the book opener on your side, rotating the spine. And then we had the cat cow on all fours. Then we had the thread the needle. That also too is encouraging that thoracic rotation. And the last one was the swan exercise on your stomach using the foam roller and lifting the chest just slightly. So I hope you found these helpful. I want you to go through these, do it consistently. If you are getting a lot of headaches, looking at other things like your pillow and also your posture with what your activities are like, there's a lot of things that can help solve neck pain and do it in a more natural way without relying on medications or considering surgery. So healthy spinal movement, it's really beneficial with Pilates based exercise. And if you like this video and you want to see more exercise related videos and women's health topics, then click subscribe and you'll get notified every week when we release new videos. So thanks so much for watching. And remember, consistency over time makes changes. And I hope you enjoyed this Pilates video.